Hey everyone, this of course is a floodlight. And up till now, there has been no really nice way of making sure that when you terminate a floodlight, it actually looks good. But I'm glad to say Emelec has finally released something that is perfect to be able to solve these connection problems. I've gone around over the last six months and asked a bunch of people, how are you terminating floodlights or any product that has a flex? People are replying to me that they're using one of these, a one-way box. Other people are um, doing the whole shebang, which of course is a one-way box with a screwed plane adapter and then a gland on the end and drilling out the back. It's of course not even IP rated correctly. And of course they said to me that this takes a bit of time, you gotta use connectors obviously, um, and at the end of the day it's not actually IP rated. And putting this next to a beautiful floodlight, um, it looks terrible. So, you know, they're, they're trying it out going, mm, this looks so good, the floodlight looks great, or they're doing the classic, check out my conduit work. Nice conduit run. Hey, hey Frank, hey. See that? I did that. Yep, it's my piece of conduit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice conduit. <laughs> yeah. And then they're getting to the one way box and going, eh, not so good. Thankfully, Emelec has solved the connection problems with this the Nox box. This is the first version of the Noxbox range that Emelec is going to be releasing. And this is the Noxbox 130. So let's look at some of the details. Okay, so what you have here in the Noxbox is a small way of connecting uh, your floodlights or anything with a flex and plug directly to your cables in a really nice, neat, compact way. This one has a permanently attached lid it folds down, it's got a high IP rating so it can be used outdoor. And what we've gone for here in the design after getting a lot of feedback from our MWorld partners is the way in which it terminates needs to be nice and easy. So we've got a back entry uh, rubber pop out bung and you've got a 20 mil entry hole on this particular one. You've also got two bottom entries and these are of course uh, breakable. So yeah, I didn't use pliers, but uh... So the idea is with these breakouts down the bottom that if you've got a piece of corrugated uh, conduit that you've got coming in there, it's really awkward sometimes to be able to hold the cable. So what we've done is we've been able to uh, have more or less some clamps that you can release and you can lock the cable into position to be able to free your hands up, to be able to put the conduit into the right position before fixing it and fix these guys in here. So you've got two bottom entry points, you've got one back entry point. We have provided rubber caps for the screw points. We've also done um, everyone a solid favor on the back and marked the width you need to drill out. Nice. So you don't have to put your SDS or your hammer drill straight through the guts of this, you're able to actually uh, measure, this, is, this particular one is 40 millimeters gap between those two, measure, mark the wall out, uh, put your wall plugs in or whatever fixing you need, and then when you fix through, you can put your caps over the screws. Made it so that those uh, are about the right size for the typical golden self-tapping screws that most Sparkies use. The Noxbox comes with this pre-installed lid. From the factory, we've also made it so that it doesn't do this. Uh, so when you get it, the lid is permanently open and the after you close it that first time, it's still sealed uh, and it allows for that flexibility. Again, a little minor point, but it's really annoying if you're up a ladder and you gotta consistently do this all the time. Uh, we wanna try and spare any of those multi-handed tasks. A couple of other things is we've got some foam installed. The foam is to prevent, obviously, water ingress, but also bugs and to prevent the need for silicon wherever possible. And I know that there's some silicon lovers out there and you guys must have shares in silicon, but if you can withhold yourself just a little bit on the silicon, that would be great. <laughs> what we've done on the interior is we've got Wago connectors. 
Now these connectors are the 221s from Wago. If you wanted to, you can pull the whole tray out and have your own style of connection, whether that be direct solder or the standard type of connectors. So it's a multi-use type of device uh, that we wanted to offer you a junction box um, of various applications, especially that it's IP rated in the vertical installation position. So the Nox box is also going to be available in other sizes later on. At this particular stage, we have released the first model, which is 130, the Nox box 130. We will be doing larger variations to that with more terminals um, and obviously a bigger in size. So we'd love to hear back from you before we bring those models out. Hey, I don't normally do this when I put the videos out, but this product has had a huge amount of market feedback from electricians all around Australia. And I just wanted to say to them, uh, thank you very much for helping to create this product. Um, I really appreciate everyone's feedback that's been part of the prototyping phase. Uh, you all know we started with ideas and uh, those ideas change and develop. You know, anything from um, the entry points needing to be uh, toolless so that you don't have you know those really annoying screws that always drop off the saddles uh, that fix things like this to uh, knowing whether we should use the terminal block or uh, a Wago style connector so I just wanted to say from everyone here at Emelec to you thank you very much for your help and assistance uh, love to work on more products with you guys and um, yeah thank you from me personally